Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating you guys. If you have any doubt, please comment in the section. Also, you can able to join us in the Instagram page, which is in the video description. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about the product of cultivation and secondary agriculture. I am going to cover the lecture, the types of greenhouses and the base on shape, cost, utility and the, as well as the cladding material present in them. So while seeing about the first point, of small introduction about the classification of greenhouse gases. So the product and cultivation is a technique of providing favorable environment as well as the growth condition to the plants. So a greenhouse must need to be covered with the protected plant structures which must be needed to be varied for each and every weather or environment like wind precipitation, excess precipitation or excess solar radiation and temperature ex extremes as well as even the attack of pests and diseases. So these are the uh, places where the production must need to be given for the particular plant. So the growing environment is said to be altered, which is said to be suited for the specific requirements needed by the plant at that particular environment. So it is rather used to protect the plant from adverse climatic conditions as well as also used to provide an optimum condition for the circulation as well as the better growth of plant to achieve their maximum yield as well as the best quality of food they are said to be producing. So the greenhouse must need to be framed or inflated and uh, which can even be covered with transparent as well as the transparent material in crops which can be the grown under at least partially controlled environment. So which can be able to permit the plant to carry out the highest amount of production as well as the person need to work within and carry out the cultural operations needed by the plant. So the greenhouse can be covered with the transparent materials such as plastic polyvinyl carbonate which is said to be known as the PVC sheet or else glass. So these are some of the transparent materials used for covering up the producting material. And uh, while seeing the different types of greenhouse houses, they used to design for the specific needs of the particular plant in that particular environment. So the greenhouse can be classified based on the shape and style as well as the utility, construction and the covering material as well as the cost of construction etc. So it's how we can able to classify the greenhouse gases based on their utilities. So first we are going to see about the greenhouse types which, um, which is said to be based on shape or style. So we can able to classify the greenhouse based on the shape or style. So for this purpose of classification, the uniqueness of the cross section of the greenhouse can be considered as the major factor in classification of the greenhouse gas. As a longitudinal section tend to be approximately same for all types, but the longitudinal section of greenhouse cannot be used for the classification So in this classification. So the cross section provides information on the overall shape of the structural member such as truss, hoop, and which can be uh, repeated each and every bay of the greenhouse structure. So the first type is lean to type greenhouse. So a lean to type is said to be a greenhouse which is said to be placed against a existing building. So it is said to be used to have existing structure for one or more sites of its sites. It is usually attached to other buildings. So the roof of the building is said to be extended appropriate greenhouse covering material and the area is properly enclosed in that area. It is said to be placed by facing typically south side of the environment. So the lean to type greenhouse are said to be limited to single or double total width with a width of 2 to 4 meters is the maximum one. So I have given the picture of lean to type greenhouse. So any one side of the greenhouse is said to be placed or built in the existing building. Uh, wait a minute. So existing building and the height can be 2 to 4 meter as well as the width which can be single row or double row. So these are the maximum capa capacities of the lean to type greenhouse. After that we are going to see about the even span type of greenhouse. So this type of design is used for the greenhouse of small size on the leveled ground. So it is attached to the house at one glad end and it can be accommodated two or three rows. So a separate heating system is necessary unless the structure is very close to the heated building. And a single span type is span in general and varies from 5 to 9 meter. And the various the length can be around 24 meter and the height varies from 2.5 to 
4.3 meter so these are the specifications of even span type greenhouse and you can able to see the picture of even span type greenhouse and after that we are going to see about the uneven span type of greenhouses so this type of greenhouses are said to be constructed on the hilly terrain based on their unequal surface as well as the roofs are said to be unequal with the width so they, where they can be able to adapt it for the side slopes of the hill so these types of greenhouse are not suitable for the automation process in each and every area so it's the type of side greenhouses and after that we are going to see about region furrow type greenhouses so in this type of greenhouses two or more a frame of greenhouses are connected to one along the other length of the eave so they use as furrow or gutter to carry out rain as well as the melted snow away so the side wall is said to be eliminated between the greenhouses which results in a structure with a single large interior consolidation so the interior space reduces labor as well as the lower cost of automation and also improves personal management and reduce fuel consumption as there is less exposed wall area so which can able to have the heat escape from this environment so i have already told you the snow loads must taken to the frame structures of the sides so the greenhouse since the snow cannot slide into the roofs as in case of individual free standing greenhouses but it can be melt away in these furrows so it is a form of region furrow greenhouse and after that we are going to see about the sawtooth greenhouse these uh, greenhouses are said to be similar to region furrow type of greenhouse except that there is a provision for natural ventilation in this type of greenhouse so the specific natural ventilation flow path develops in a sawtooth type of greenhouses is said to be a major advantage than region furrow type of greenhouses and after that the final which one which is said we are going to see about the quonset type of greenhouse so in the greenhouse where the pipes are said to be arch as well as truss are supported by pipe purling and running along the length of the greenhouse so in general the covering material used for this greenhouse is said to be polyethylene so it is a particular covering material used for this quonset greenhouse so such greenhouses are said to be typically less expensive than the gutter connected greenhouse and are useful when a small isolated cultural area is required so these houses are said to be connected either in free standing style or arranged in a ridge and furrow so a single large cultivated space that exists for a set of house in this type of automation is better adapted for the automation process so after that now we are going to see about the greenhouse types based on their utility so there are only two utility classification which are greenhouse for active heating as well as the greenhouse for active cooling so this type of classification mainly depend on their functional utilities like based on the environment they must need to have a heating system or else they must need to have a cooling system so of these different types of utilities artificial cooling or artificial heating structures are said to be present in the green greenhouse but they are said to be more expensive as well as the elaborate one for the particular greenhouse hence based on the artificial cooling and heating system so the greenhouse can be classified as active heating or active cooling system so these are the two different greenhouses based on the utilities so after that we are going to see about the greenhouse based on the construction so the greenhouse based on the construction is predominantly influenced by the structural material such as the covering material also influences this type and the span of this house is in turn indicate the selection of structural members under the construction so therefore based on construction greenhouse can be broadly classified as wooden frames pipe frames as well as the truss framed structures in the environment so while seeing the first one we are going to see is the wooden frame structures of greenhouse in general for these greenhouse with where they used to have a span less than 6 meter and only wooden frame structures are used in these greenhouses and the side posts and columns are said to be constructed of wood without the use of truss in this greenhouse and the pine wood is commonly used it as an expensive as well as the possess the uh, required strength in the wooden framed greenhouses and the timber locally available which can also able to give a good strength and durability and a mechanical ability can also be used for the construction of wooden framed structures and after that we are going to see is pipe framed structures so this can able to um, give a clear span area of around 12 meters 
but in general the side post columns and cross ties and purlins are said to be constructed using pipes so in this types the truss are said to be not used in these greenhouses after that the truss frame structures so if the greenhouse span is greater than or equal to 15 meter the truss frame structures are said to be used so the flat steel uh, tubular steel as well as the angular iron is built through the truss encompassing wrappers cords and stuff so the truss are support members under compression and cords are support members under tension of the particular greenhouse the angle iron purling running through the length of the greenhouse are said to be bolted to each truss in the truss frame structure greenhouses and the columns are only very wide truss frame houses of around 21.3 meter or more than that one and most of the greenhouses are of truss frame types as these frames are best suited for pre fabrication of the greenhouses and after that we are going to see the classification where the greenhouse types based on the covering material so the covering materials are said to be the major and important component of the greenhouse structures so the covering material have a different you know, as well as the direct influence on the greenhouse effect inside the structures and where they can able to alter the air temperature inside the house and the types of frames and method of fixing also varies with the covering material used in these greenhouses so based on the type of covering material the greenhouse are said to be classified as plastic plastic frame as well as the ridge panel greenhouse in the area and after that the glass greenhouses so only the glass greenhouse with the glass covering material existed prior to 1950 so the covering material has an advantages of greater interior light intensity than any other materials during that period and these glass houses used to have a higher air infiltration rate so which leads to the lower interior humidity and better disease prevention in the area so the lean to type even span region furrow types of designs are used for the construction of green um, glass greenhouses and after that we are going to see the plastic film greenhouses so the plastic films are said to be used with the polyethylene polyester as well as the polyvinyl chloride are used as a covering material in these types of greenhouses so the plastic as a covering material for greenhouses become popular because they are said to be cheap and the cost of heating is less when compared to become popular so they are cheap and the cost of heating is less when compared to the greenhouse gases so these are the main reason and the main advantages of plastic film is is its short life for example the best quality uv stabilized film can last up to 4 years only so the quanset design as well as the gutter connected design is suitable for using the covering material so this particular material so these are the main disadvantages of plastic film greenhouses and after that we are going to see is ridge panel greenhouses so the polyvinyl chloride again the ridge panel so where the fiber glass reinforced plastic acrylic as well as the polycarbonate rigid panels are said to be employed the covering material in the quanset type of frames or ridges and the furrow type of frames so the material is said to be more resistant to breakage and the light intensity is said to be uniform throughout the greenhouse when compared to glass or plastic so the high grade panels have used to have a long life even up to 20 years and the main disadvantages in these panels tend to collect dust as well as the harbor algae in that upper surface so which used to results in the darkening of the panels and subsequent reduction in the light transmission is said to be happen during the presence of algae and uh, there is a significant danger of fire hazard in that particular rigid panel greenhouses and after that we are going to see the classification of greenhouse types based on cost so the economic feasibility of any type of greenhouse depends upon its cover and the types of crop to be grown majorly used to design the cost of the greenhouses and the greenhouses are said to be broadly classified into following three categories based on the extent of cost so they are said to be low cost high cost and medium as well as the high tech one so based on the names you can able to see the feasibility of the particular greenhouses and uh, we are going to see the final one they are said to be known as the shading nets so they are said to be used to have a greater number of types and varieties of plant can be grown in nature in the most diverse condition that can be transferred from modern agriculture from the natural habitats to a control crop production in these shading nets 
therefore the condition similar to the natural ones must need to be created for each and every type and variety of plants in that particular one and each type of cultivated plant must be given specific to the shade required for the diverse space of the development of each and every plant in this shade unit so the shade unit used to fulfill the task of giving appropriate microclimate conditions to the plants in that environment as well as the all the nettings are said to be uv stabilized to fulfill the expected lifetime and the area of exposure so they are said to be characterized for high tear resistant low weight for easy as well as the quick installation with 30 to 90% shade value range based on the plant requirement so the shade value based on the shade required by the particular plant the shade value can be done and a wide range of shading nets are said to be available in the market so which are said to be defined on the basis of percentage of shade net and they used to deliver to the plant growing under them so these are the main characteristics of shading net so i have given the lecture notes in description so you can able to describe our video in the comment section and join us in the instagram page which is in the description so if you like the video you can like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos